What's going on everybody? It is day four of my experimental daily uploads week. I think I've pretty much decided on what my plan is for upload schedule moving forward, and I'm gonna talk to you guys about it tomorrow, which is Friday, so definitely stay tuned for that. I just want to give a big thanks to all of my subscribers who watch every single video. I know you're out there. And I also know that there are a bunch of new people that I'm reaching with each video. So I just want to encourage you that if you're not subscribed and you do go on to enjoy this video, definitely hit that big red subscribe button down below. And let's jump into the top 5 itch.io games of the day. <laughs> Alright, jumping straight into the video, no need to waste any time. In our number 5 spot, we have a game called Ice Mage Adventures by Triple Trouble. This is a retro top-down puzzle game where you are a mage and you have to push different blocks into locations, find keys, set bombs, and all kinds of other things in order to solve the puzzle and escape from each map. This game is pretty much what you'd expect from a top-down puzzle game, but everything is executed so creatively and well that I just had to put it on the list. I had a ton of fun playing this game, and I just want to say kudos to the developers because you did a really great job on it. So definitely go check that out, and as always, all five of these games will be 100% free, and the links will be in the description down below if you want to check any of them out. Alright, moving on to our number four game. This game is called Sput Nicholas by Vil Westermark. Now this is like a cute exploration game, I suppose. You're a really funny looking dude, and you get to walk around, and when you jump off the side of your island, you turn into a rocket. And there's different levers that you can switch to make it from day to night and refill your fuel, and you just need to go around and explore the world. Well, the gameplay of this game is pretty simple. Where the game really shines is the fun music, the cute art design, and the hilarious main character. Unfortunately, I was dealing with some glitches while recording this, so the gameplay I'll show here is actually the trailer for the game. But if you're just looking for a relaxing game with great art design where you can just fly around and explore, and you're not looking to get into anything too long or challenging, this is absolutely the game for you. Alright, moving on to our number 3 spot, we have a game called Escape the Tower by Manly Drew. This is a 3D first person puzzle escape game where you're in a tower and you must escape. It's in the name. <laughs> this game really shines by being super well developed and glitch free, and you must solve each puzzle to escape from each consecutive room. Now unfortunately, I did not get to play this game through to the finish because I deal with really severe motion sickness when playing first person games and that was coming on strong. But from what I played, I really enjoyed this game and I'd highly recommend you give it a play. The game developers obviously poured their hearts into this and worked super hard and it shows in the quality of gameplay. In our number two spot, we have a game called Bone Zone by Palam Palam Palamixi. Sorry for your name, bro. This is an adventure platformer game. This is definitely a 2D platformer, but the graphics are actually shown in 3D, which is not in and of itself too unique, but it really makes the game stand out from its competition. In this game, you're a skeleton exploring the 2D underworld, trying to escape from lava, fight enemies, and make your way through the levels. There's lots of creative things in this that I have not seen in a platformer before, such as there's ghosts floating up and down that you can jump on top of to give yourself an extra boost, Overall, this game is super engaging and super addictive, and I played it for way longer than I should have, and I'd absolutely recommend you go check it out if you're looking for a bit longer playthrough 2D exploration game to play today. Alright guys, it's time for our number one spot. Before we move on, I just want to quick mention that I do have a Discord, and it's looking pretty lonely in there, so if you want to stay in the loop with me and my community, definitely go join that. The link will be in the description. I know I said that for the last video and forgot to do it, but it really will this time. <laughs> All right, moving on to our number one spot. We have a game called Quest Crawler by RBD Interactive. Now this is a 3D puzzle platformer quest game, and I know that that description is a mouthful, but it's really applicable because this game incorporates a lot of different aspects. There's fun puzzle aspects, story aspects, platforming aspects, and even combat. Plus, you guys know me, I really love low poly graphics, and they work to perfection in this game. Overall, this game took the number one spot because it is the best developed game on this list and the most fun. 
This game is like if Minecraft became a adventure platformer, <laughs> and I'd highly recommend it to anybody watching this video. If you're gonna check out any one of these games, definitely make it this one. And congrats to RBD Interactive for taking the top spot today. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far in the video and you enjoyed, would you mind hitting the like button and sharing it with somebody who'd enjoy this video? It really helps the channel out. I'll see you guys tomorrow and stay tuned because I'm going to talk about my uploading schedule then. Thanks for watching. Bye.